Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rome 2 for you today and we have a glorious Sally here by some Arya Dai uh, raiders, I'm pretty sure, yeah, some Illyrian raiders just going after some uh, Swaby uh, artillery straight off the bat, so it's a high intense battle, I literally unpaused this battle uh, like straight away and this is what happens. So yeah, this is a awesome 3v3 with a huge Sally that is happening from Saba and from Arya Dai right now going after Swaby, so uh, I've been seeing this happen more and more, like Sally tactics going uh, against Sieges, just trying to catch out the uh, the attackers, making the attackers think, oh yeah, we won't be standing behind our walls, we're going to come out and fight you in the field, and look at this, look at all this cavalry, that is going on, Arabian cavalry, all sorts here, um, but yeah, this was sent in by a member of the Discord, sending in their battle replays, so if you'd like to send in your own Rome 2 battle replays, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support as well. Um, always helps out. Um, but yeah, so yeah, look at all the look at all this, uh, this armor like cataphract, armor camels, not cataphracts at all. But yeah, I mean they're trying to take out archers. They need to get these archers and the crew out of there if they are in that. I don't know if this is really going to be a success in the end, but they're certainly taking out some really good units. Like swordmasters here, definitely want to take them out. You can see that Gete is desperately trying to bring across his troops as well to come and help in this uh, in this alley. And look at this, Pontus is also getting involved in the action, sending out hoplites and uh, all sorts. So yeah, this is a 3v3. This is between, uh, obviously, Saba, Pontus, and Ariadai. We have uh, Gete, uh, Swaby, and uh, Egypt that are attacking. Uh, Egypt been lucky not being the only one involved in this sort of sally. I guess Gete's not really been involved, but he's going to get himself involved. Sitting across a load of noble swords. Um, but yeah, you can see here, they need to get rid of this, uh, get rid of this uh, mercenary Himyar cavalry. It's, uh, I mean, it's beating these wooden spears, but they want to get out of here. Prolonged melee is not good for cavalry, I would have thought, against spears. And uh, those Illyrian raiders finally breaking. We've got uh, camel cataphracts all the way over here. Now they're charging down uh, sword masters, trying to do the damage. Look how heavily armored these guys are, they are nasty. I don't want to be in the receiving end of a camel heavily armoured like this. It'd be one of my worst nightmares, I think. Also a bad, just a bad way to die, I imagine. Imagine just having to write on your grave, killed by a camel. Uh, we've got General over here, Swordmasters for Swaby. Very dangerous that they're sending him first into the uh, into the fight. I mean, he may not be cho choosing to be in this fight against camels, but uh, they want to get him out of there, probably. You can now see that it looks like... Uh, Pons is going to try and stop Gete from coming and joining this fight. He's got the Hoplites here just to block off this uh, assault. And now we've got some uh, Noble Swords fighting off against these uh, Hoplites. I imagine these Noble Swords will eventually break through. But for now, they're being held in place. More infantry coming. I mean, this is the entire Pontic army coming out by the looks of it. It looks like uh, just Aridai and a few troops of Pontus are staying inside to defend this uh, this little area around the uh, main major cap point. This is Al Ag Alexandria Arik Chosis. Well, it's a really cool map, and uh, you can often do a lot of uh, like cool sides. You've got a uh, charge here from some side chariots. How many kills did those guys get before they started to break? Two kills. No, these guys should have got like so many more kills. These guys should be getting hundreds. Let's see one of the units, like one of the chariots, is charging through here, trying to do some business. Yeah, they are breaking. I guess they still probably do damage when they're breaking. Yeah, 34 kills. That's such a waste. Um, over here, looks like Saba is kind of like doing a lot of. A lot of charging. I wouldn't say he's been very successful. I would have said that Swaby's uh, kind of clearing up quite nicely. Uh, maybe not these units over here. These Cataphracts are doing a lot of damage. And these are horse archers. But some of the other cavalry is not having such a great time for Saba. Imagine being a German. And like, for some reason you're just coming up against a load of camels. You'd be, you'd be scared out of your mind. You'd be like, what the heck is this animal? I've never seen this before. It looks like a horse, but it isn't a horse. You lose your mind. Got camels over here as well. I feel like these men aren't screaming war cries. They're just screaming out of fear, like I said. Look at this weird animal. This dopey neck. A weird hump. Looks like Pontus is setting up more troops. What we got here, we got uh, naked swords, along with uh, well, Pontic swords getting involved, and they might be able to stop these uh, sword noble swords, but I doubt it. They're trying to get a rear charge here into the noble swords. It's uh, hotting up over here a lot with Pontus, and Pontus has a good chance of taking out Gete because Gete has like split some of his army, sent it inside the city. 
Not much of it, but some of it. Pontus here still holding with his uh, with his hop lights, still doing his bit. He needs to get all of his troops really into this battle, if possible. Got his general here. He's a pretty good general. Pontic Royal Cavalry is pretty solid. Whether he wants to just send it through this gap here, he could go after all these archers in the back line. Nothing really protecting him. He's just a general, but. Oh, and this cavalry is actually here as well. Noble Riders. Yeah, maybe not the greatest move. Because most of these Noble Swords are winning in combat. They are just so good. They are. Gete is a really solid faction. Um, definitely should be used more and more often, I think, by players. Kind of underestimated. Yeah, this is such a weird start to the battle. I mean, it's just like, apparently we're having a siege battle, but we're really, we're not. They're refusing to have a siege battle, are uh, Saba and Pontus. And really, Saba's nearly out. Uh, actually, no, I say that. There's a bunch over here. Saba's got fair, a fair amount left. Um, I don't know how many kills he's getting with all these uh, all these cavalry. I mean, it's going to be a good charge here. The civilian uh, camel cavalry are about to get a rear charge onto this uh, unit here. Watch this happen. That was probably one of the worst charges I've ever seen. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. There we go. So they're just going to rear charge them. Going to just then walk on through. Looks like uh, Ponce is going to come over and do the same thing. He's going to be very careful, though, with his general. They does not get shot or charged down by cavalry here. He's going to get pinned down by cavalry. Yeah, Ponce is going to have to retreat. And Ponce is sending off troops to go and deal with uh, Swaby. I think he's not even got enough men to really deal with Gete at the moment. He's bre breaking a lot of areas here. This could be uh, this could be interesting. RDI might have to do this all along at, alone at the moment, uh, which has started. He has started fighting in here now. Got some mercenary axe warriors against some mercenary axe warriors. Who will win? My money's on the mercenary axe warriors. Yeah, they're fighting over this bridge. I mean, he's got the more chevrons. Uh, looks like looks like Iridai does, but. They seem to be losing to their numbers. Yeah. And Egypt's slowly walking in now as well. He's got all his Thorax swords here. It looks like Egypt's going to have a really easy game. Just just chilling. Just like, yep, okay. I guess uh, two of the uh, attack, uh, two of the defenders are going to just get themselves killed. Which they kind of are, I'd say. I mean, Pontus has been a bit bold bringing his entire army out. I didn't really think he had the numbers to... Uh, the numbers or the quality to stop Gete. But he's trying. I respect that. Gonna send his general back inside, probably a smart move. But yeah, he's also just spread out over such a long distance. He's even trying to take on Swaby. I mean, Cyber's doing a good job in dealing with uh, dealing with Swaby. He's gonna actually kill his cavalry off now, which is a big win. If they can kill this Swaby and cavalry, it makes their mobility so much harder for the Germans. This is kind of the only way they were catching up with his cavalry. Now they could be very vulnerable. I'm pretty sure that uh, Cavalry also in uh, Rome 2 has got like a debuff when fighting camels, like camels scare Cavalry. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm kind of glad that they have like this and like that. What is this unit? Infantry Desert Levy. Oh, bless these guys. These guys have just been sent in to deal with some of the nastiest infantry in the game. And I'll say that. I'll say no Noble Swords for Gete. I think some of the nastiest infantry in the game. They are really good. Um, certainly up there with like Osworn and, uh, and certainly like Praetorians and stuff like that. They're really good. Um, very heavy melee infantry. Can't really go wrong with them. You can see the cavalry here. It's, to be fair, Swaby has nearly been wiped off the face of the earth. He's got no general. Um, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, no general. I think, like, a big loss is that Pontus is going to just get absolutely outmatched by Gete. So then when Gete is wanting to come in, um, it's, like, he's facing just one army. Like, Ar sorry. When Ariadai has to face a Gete, he's facing two armies, basically. He's facing... Going to be facing Egypt and Gete. So it's going to be a hard one for him. Not impossible. Not impossible. But a hard one. See these, uh... Need to hold fire with their uh, missiles here. These slave singers shooting at these retreating troops. Need to get a general kill on possibly like, um... Egypt or someone like that. That would be a really big win. Getting a general snipe on him. Just to try and... Oh, you can see they have actually got artillery here. Whose artillery is that? Who has artillery? Oh, it's this uh, ballista up here. Sabah's ballista all the way up here. A Bastion ballista. Now firing. I think it is trying to fire on this general here. I wouldn't blame them for doing it. I think they need to to like, give themselves a little bit of a chance. 
Obviously, that's the risk of putting your general there. I don't think that's a general snipe. You put your general right at the front of the formation, right at the front of the army. He's begging to be hit. And you can see Pontus here with his final few units. What is this unit? Thoros Spears. Yeah, these guys are going to get chopped up by the uh, Noble Swords. I'll be interested to see how many kills Pontus has got in comparison to his allies. Might not be many. I think he uh, matched himself up against the, uh, the the wrong play. He may have been best going up against Egypt. I wouldn't have said Arida is better going sallying out to face um, to face Gete either. I think no one should have sallied out to face Gete. I think Gete is just too scary. Should not be dealt with. You can see Swaby is basically finished. They're going to try and chase down what remains of uh, Pontus. Some royal, uh, some Pontic Peltas, sorry. And now it looks like Saba's going to get ready for Gete. This was actually a good charge here by the Noble Swords. And they're actually trying to focus on this cover. It's a really good idea. I mean, most of his like, infantry is pretty beaten up, though, to be fair. Gete, actually, he's got a few fresh ones over here. This one's fairly fresh. But most of his infantry is pretty beaten up. He's got, like, two, three fresh units. Not including his general. Which actually is a noble spear, so that's uh, a less, slightly less deadly. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that's actually kind of a good sign. <clears throat> there you go, there's just a voice, a voice crack there. But um, but yeah, so yeah, that's quite a good sign that uh, like Gete is uh, fairly weak. I mean, the station heavy bows, if he's brought them, are really good, I think. I personally think they're really cheap, but they're actually quite good. Um, and can certainly do a lot of damage. Certainly when they're all firing at one thing, they just do a lot of damage. I mean, that's the case with just about any arch unit, but I mean, definitely the case with them. Illyrian Marines here getting focused down by these uh, Egyptian archers. That's, uh, that's a big loss. Um, but now comes the uh, Illyrian heavy, uh, like heavy hoplites, noble hoplites, I should say. These Illyrian Marines, yeah, there's like so many chevrons, they're getting focused down. <laughs> Yeah, I get everything out of uh, like out of formation. Get it back if it's not getting. Uh, I also don't know why they're defending all these spots over here. Like Egypt is not contesting them. No need to have all this infantry here. I guess I don't want it all blobbed up for the archers to shoot, but still, I don't think they need it. Well, there they need to get these uh, slave slingers into action, shooting at these uh, Egyptian archers. Same with these uh, eastern slingers up here. They need to start taking out some of these uh, these archers. That's the real issue that they've got. If these uh, Egyptian archers accidentally get themselves caught out, that'll be a big win as well. Here we go. Oh, this is, no, there's more archers coming on the nobles. Jeez. Yeah, it looks like it's slowly dying down a little bit. I mean, Pontus is just having his last infantry unit just wiped out. Oh, no, he's got a few left over here. Okay, he's still got pikes. Okay, so we, we're not completely uh, out of Pontus yet. We're still going to have a bit of fun with him. That's good to see that they've got pikes as well to face uh, Egypt's pikes. Very, very good. I presume he's got... Hellenic Royal Guard, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, they're going to be hard to uh, beat. This is going to be an interesting one. Certainly it's going to be a bit more tactical from now on in. I mean, Saba, you'd imagine, is going to bring the rest of his cavalry army. Probably bring it inside the walls, uh, probably in this gate here. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe go out and attack Egypt, possibly. You could go for a, go for this giant ballista back here. I mean, can't move, but they could go for it. Don't know. It's just kind of interesting to see what you go for, Egypt. I mean, you could just fire into all this blobs here with that artillery that they had uh, all the way back there. You need to just fire into those blobs. You get so many kills. And here we go. Finally, looks like Thorax is coming across the bridge. We're going to finally see a charge. Looks like Arya dies. Given up. Oh my gosh. Look at this poor volley. These men have been focused down here. Yeah, looks like Arya dies. Given up the bridge and he's going to allow Egypt to cross. At a, at a good cost as well. Like, he's lost a lot of men just standing there holding that bridge. Now the slingers, I think, are into action. Yeah, I don't know if that's really a great angle. Yeah, actually, it probably is. These guys are losing uh, decisively. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good start. What we got coming across here? Nubian Bowman. I think these guys are slightly better than the Egyptian archers. He's not really brought expensive archers, which is one reassuring thing. He's just gone for really cheap bows, but he's got a lot of really good, like, pikes and, um... How many pikes has he brought? 
I presume it was one, two, four, but if he's he's got like four units of pikes, jeez. Um, okay, I don't know if that was like breaking the rules or what. I, I'm not really sure, but he has a lot of pikes. That is a. Uh, Oh, he's got five units of pikes? Oh my gosh. I guess he's kind of like making up for the lack of pikes for uh, for like the other two players, but that's still a lot of pikes. I mean, that's probably too many pikes because they could use, they could just focus them down with the defenders. And then that's five units of infantry just gone. I think pikes are always are great to have, but you don't want five. Five is well, like three too many. <laughs> In most rules, most rules are one, two, four. So that's a lot of pikes like you're over. Um, but yeah, here are the barbarians that are left. <laughs> um, we'll call them that now because this is a bit of swaby here. Along with Gete. I mean, they, they've got a fair amount of troops left. Look at this guy. He's like, oh my god, we've seen so much action. Just let me lie down for a moment. Um, but yeah, the barbarians, they're, they're, they've got a fairly decent amount of men left. They need to um, they need to get some of the siege equipment going. If they could just um, assault over one of these walls, they could really stretch the, really stretch the uh, defenders. It looks like it's slowing down a little bit, um, so I might just fast forward, see whether Egypt or uh, Aridai is going to make the first move. I imagine Egypt is going to be uh, obliged to make the first move since he is an attacker. Oh no, maybe Aridai. Aridai, yeah, is going to try and take out these archers. Well, that's a big win if you can catch these guys out. So yeah, Egypt's just not paying attention and allowed Aridai to charge his uh, archers with Illyrian Marines. And that's an easy archer kill there, straight off the bat. That's just a very bizarre tactic. And there you go, they've got like, I don't know how many kills they got, like 30 odd kills. And then there's pikes coming up now. They're gonna chase, well they were chasing the marines as well. That's a big one there for the Illyrian marines. And now they can just focus down these pikes. Well, they should anyway, focus on these pikes with uh, every missile that they have available. And they're gonna fall back. Here we go, Gete's now coming across the river. What's all this? This is uh, Mercenary Axe Warriors. Okay, and they're going into Mercenary Axe Warriors again. Ah, uh, it's the old uh, popular battle. Axe Warriors versus Axe Warriors. Happens every five minutes, it would seem. But look at that, look at the jab he's going on. Point like range. Not quite sure what's going on here. We're all phasing through the bridge. Gotta love Rome too, I guess. That's the spirit. But the Gete looks like he's falling back. Uh, I presume because of all of this cavalry that's just appeared. Um, good timing by uh, Saba here. I mean, this can definitely... They could wrap up most of the Axe Warriors. And then they could just go down the flanks if they wanted to. Threaten uh, Egypt as and when they want. Uh, are they going to carry on? Yes, they are. Here comes Saba. And in he go and he goes. Oh my gosh. That was a nice cavalry charge I approve that. Warriors, move out! So now we're just kinda of waiting to see like what's going on. I mean I imagine Saba oh he's Pons has got his general in behind as well. I wonder what they're gonna go for. Maybe they're gonna go for generals, maybe they're gonna go for these archers, uh, like who knows? Who knows? Gese seems to be making a chase. He's lost one Axe Warrior unit from uh, in there because there was three. I know that. And now there's only two. Now they're going to just carry on charging them. Jesus. Poor, poor infantry. Getting absolutely run down. So here we are. We are back. Apologies. I did have to make a quick cut. I was uh, just uh, had to like, be called away from my uh, PC to go and uh, help with something. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, we're back. Um, and uh, yeah, so it looks like these Saba cataphracts are just destroying these poor axe warriors. Real, real shame. Um, yeah, 93 men and 43, they're breaking, they're gone. And now Egypt's kind of uh, got his flank uh, threatened, really. He needs to be kind of careful about that. Um, obviously, he's setting up some uh, pikes to defend his flank. And what's he also got here? He's got some Glacian Royal Guard. I wouldn't send them too much further. Hold them there and you'll be okay. But really, he needs to start going across this bridge. I mean, there's not much across this bridge. He certainly should have attacked when Saba was still outside the city. Um, and just taking advantage of Aridai being on his own. 
all they have to get to as well is get to um, here, so it's not like massively far away. Looks like they're sending up some Thoros spears. Just gonna jabby them to death by the looks of it. Um, that's not the worst idea in the world, but yeah, I mean, they're gonna need a little bit more than that. I imagine these uh, these Illyrian Marines are pretty solid. I mean, I say that we just did witness one earlier get focused down completely. But I, I believe in them. They, they'll do better this time. Eh, I don't know. They're not that solid, actually. I take it back. They're absolutely getting absolutely annihilated. But here we go. In they go. Poor Illyrian Marines just doing their best. Are these, even, are these the better ones? Uh, oh no, this is like a smaller unit of like the yeah, heavy ones. Okay, inside. Yeah, these sort of spears, I don't think they're going to win this. They're getting absolutely, like, just, just, you can see all the little, like, slinging balls. Look at that. You can see them all just, like, on the ground here. Getting focused on. There's so many volleys coming in of, uh, from the slingers. And there you go, they're all dead. Well, and then that's another unit of Egypt that's just lost. That's, uh, that's how they're going to play it. Just going to grind away like that. And it looks like Gete is going to come in this uh, this gap here. He's just going to carry on uh, down the same route that Egypt was going to go down. So it just kind of makes it a lot easier for the uh, for the defenders because they know where they're going to come from now. And look at this. The Royal Camel Archers setting up arch uh, their horse archers here. And they're going to shoot these Highland Royal Guard in the flank. Really nice little play there. And, uh, I mean, it looks like the same with these Eastern Slingers. They're also firing into the flanks of these... Uh, Play it real guard, getting some really good uh, shots into the flank. Four, four. They're like, look at these guys. Just get focused on that poor guy just falling to the ground. And yeah, this unit is basically finished. Probably want to save their ammo for the uh, for like another unit because there are a load more to come. We've got all these ones back here. But like I said, I think that it's great having lots of pikes, but. Not to that extent, I think. Oh, we've got another infantry unit in here. We've got Royal Thorax now in here. This is a solid unit. There you go, Lyrian Marines. Look, they're in a bit of trouble. Absolutely focused down by archers of these uh, Royal Thorax. Jesus Christ. That is nasty. Focus them down. Just to absolutely obliterate. Absolute obliteration. That's really well played there by Saba. This unit here of uh, Glacian Royal Guard is very much on its own. Could definitely be charged by Cavalry if they wanted to try it. It's very much just gone and isolated itself. What they setting up now? More Glacian Royal Guard. Got archers up here now. I mean, they're doing a good job. Our uh, our um, Ari died. I, don't know, I was going to call him Illyria. Just had a mind blank, and I was going to call him Illyria. But there you go. So yeah, it looks like Ari is doing a good job, and um, Gete is now going to take over the uh, the job of attacking. Probably for the best. I'll be setting in Gete's troops first, and we'll beat up. And here we go, charge in the back from the uh, Noble Swords, incoming, 3, 2, 1, and they hit, they've just smacked into those guys. And then these uh, Marines, are they forming square? They can, I didn't realize these guys could form square. And they're going to do just that, they're going to form square, and it's going to allow these, uh, like, well, more military Marines come up, flank these guys, also the Slingers can just start focusing these guys down. They're losing now, yeah, they are, no surprise. These, uh, these Noble Swords are nasty. Here. We've got more noble swords coming up. Any action from the cavalry around the flank? No, nothing yet. Oh, they moved a little bit closer to the uh, Saber's Cav, but nothing like major. Okay, just keeping an eye on it. I just don't want to miss out when they imagine going for a, in for the kill. It's going to be a nasty charge when it happens. 
Well, the Illyrian heavy uh, noble hot plates here. They're facing off against these uh, noble swords. So it's the battle of the nobles. I do apologise for the lag. It is, I don't know why it's being very laggy for some reason. It's not even that many men left at this point. Um, but yeah, we we'll mo we move on anyway. We uh, we battle through it. Look at the bodies piling up here. We have javelins coming as well, just focusing these uh, poor noble swords down. More infantry coming in by the sounds of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, Gete's throwing in basically all of his infantry in one fell swoop. He just wants to take out this, this position. Um, and I'm not... Uh, wow, he's not even taking out that first Illyrian Marine. It is losing decisively. He is really just throwing in numbers, and he's going to hope that's going to do it. But, I mean, that's just going to make it easier to shoot these guys. That's all I would feel. It's just going to make it so much easier to kill these guys. And then it's just going to be Egypt, really. And Egypt's uh, got a lot of spears and pikes, like we've already mentioned. Galatian Royal Guard here, just getting focused down by towers. This is just a big no-no. They should uh, just get this unit out of the way, get it away from the towers, or go and capture the towers uh, and bring them under your control. But don't just stand the unit there because they're just getting shot to pieces. Uh, down to 97 now. Just, just chilling there. I, mean, I imagine that will get a lot lower before he realizes what's happening. There you go, in goes Aridai with more troops, more marines in. Sending now, more marines. These guys are pretty solid, I mean the gold chevron, they've got to do well. Over here looks like Swaby's finally going to uh, make a little bit of an assault as well. It looks like uh, just a one unit of Illyrian marines being tasked with holding them back. Looks we've got some uh, royal camel archers here also supporting on the walls, shooting these guys to pieces. Just supporting any sort of... Uh, Attack that's needed. These marines still holding the ground. Very nice. That's kind of dealt with. Now we've got pikes that so they need to come up as well. Just chilling. Forward! Just chilling. Follow me! And yeah, Ngete is really throwing in some now, as is Egypt. Egypt has thrown in some Galatian Royal Guard. That's a concern. Not got much to stop these guys. These guys are very nice. Like I said, apologies for the lag. I don't know why this is happening for some reason. Uh, wouldn't have fished this because it's an older replay. Quite possibly it might be the case. All this cavalry just chilling over here. Look at this. All very nice and peaceful. It's not even cavalry. It's camelry. I guess. I guess is that even that's a term. I don't know. Don't it, do you call camels? Camelry? Um, now is definitely the time to send in these pikes. So they are setting up pikes now. Bronze shield pikemen getting thrown in. And they can help you tur hopefully turn Let's the battle go. around here. Get rid of these uh, Glacian Royal Guard. Might need to send in some of their own pikes, my Egypt. Or they can start focusing down Pontus's, and that would be a big win. If they can get rid of Pontus's pikes here, that's a real big asset that defenders have lost. And they are actually charging these pikes, and they're not going to have got their pikes down in time. But they have now. And they'll hold these guys at bay. Look at these guys. They'll hold to the last. They're just allowing their Hellenic Royal Guard as well to get focused down. I mean, they haven't actually lost any men yet, so it's not really the end of the world. They're getting up, uh, looks like they're getting up these Axe Royals here. They might be using their Javis to throw them into the side of these uh, Hellenic Royal Guard. No, they're just going to go into the flanks of this uh, Noble Sword unit here. Very nice, very nice. And now it looks like, well, looks like Saber's setting up some more cavalry. He's gonna, is this general dead or something? Because he's being very aggressive. No, general is still alive. He's just being aggressive with the general. I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of archers here. I definitely would be going for this. Then it's just a general. Definitely would be going for this. This is a good target. So here we go. Saber is going to send in his cavalry. 
He's finally going to make the plunge for all these archers. It's a big win if you can take all these archers. I imagine most of them still have a lot of ammo. So, yeah, I mean, you can see ammo being used here by the Dacians. So here we go. Not paying attention on Gete or Egypt. Or they just, just know they can't do anything to stop this happening. But here we go. Savage cavalry is in there. Causing a madness. There you go. They've got rid of a lot of those archers. I mean, they're losing a lot of men quickly. You can see the general is turning around noble spears. Good unit to send up against cav spear units. Um, have they got this? Might want to send us some thoral spears and stuff. I mean, just any infantry to be honest would be a good job. Yeah, rowing a lot of this archers stuff. I mean, you can see Syrian, uh, not Syrians, uh, Nubian bows basically getting annihilated. These units here getting uh, routed. Only one Nubian bow really kind of stayed untouched. General didn't even just decide to just charge. He was just throwing in the general could have pinned down everything. The general wouldn't have died. It's the Ptolemaic cavalry. Maybe no right. But good win there for the uh, good there win win there for the defenders. Getting all those uh, those uh, archers. You can see, look at this. Royal uh, guard down to 68 men now. Just such a waste of a unit. Such a waste. You need to get this pike unit back in the game. It's just kind of support. Just watching as this. Uh, Illyrian hot plight just fights on its own. Here we go, finally going. Thorax sword struggling here. You decide to break here for the uh, Gete. Noble Swords losing now. Uh, being flanked by these Mercenary Axe Royce is not helping. Even though they're losing as well. Now they've got a lot of protection ready for Saba here. Oh, they're going to just charge these, uh, these uh, Galatian Royal Guard here. They've finally been realised that they are so weak. Definitely can be taken out. And there's also an Archer unit, I'm pretty sure. You can just take out all these, uh, these Archers and stuff like that. That would be very nice. Put in slow-mo for a little bit to see what... Still, like, the little bits of action going on looks glorious. Weird camels doing their thing. And they've routed... Oh, I thought they'd route the uh, Glacian Royal Guard. They haven't. The Glacian Royal Guard's actually winning. That's a real shame. Um, and then over here, what have we got? What have we got going on here? Still... Uh, Noble Swords still flying in here. They are winning now. Turn it around. Pikes now coming out for Egypt. So many pikes. Look at all these pikes. Rank after rank. You just fire everything into that blob. Everything goes into that blob. Now is the time to really be taking out archers and stuff like that with cavalry. Uh, going after generals possibly. And then you've got to just try and hope that you can get across this bridge and flank all these pikes. And they're throwing every pike unit in here, or Egypt. So if they can win here, can the uh, defenders, then they can flank around and they can kill them. Oh my god, it's such a mess. Look at all, just look at all these bikes. Look at all these bikes. It's a forest. It's an absolute forest. There we go. We're just not zooming on that. Let's see what's going on. Saber trying to sneak through cavalry here, possibly. Oh, he's still cycle charging these Glacian Royal Guard. This is basically. Mo oh no, Saber still got all this cataphrax here. Once they break through here, they can can just go for a general snipe. Could just go for a general snipe or for the archers again. Looks like Galatia, oh no, Galatia. Gete is going to be setting his troops back, possibly to deal with the cavalry. I don't know. He's just sort of pulling his men back in reserve. They should really make a push somewhere else, like over here on this other bridge. They don't have enough to stop um, both bridges, the defenders. They do not have enough, and these bronze shield pikemen are not winning this fight. There's just so many pikes. No way they can stop this. And this is why I think uh, you've got to abide by those 1-2-4 rules. They're applicable for your your like a player, not for the 
to let the whole team. So I, don't, I, I presume he brought like more pikes because his allies didn't bring any pikes. It doesn't really work like that. You make a choice if you don't want to play a pike faction. Most of these most of the teams didn't play a pike faction in the end, or chose not to bring any. Um, so Egypt's kind of like should have just brought the two and it would have been well, well, very even. I don't know if that was the rules. They are usually the rules for a siege battle anyway. And there you go, you can see like units starting to break in the rear. They are flanking around these, uh, flanking around these pikes. So this is a big win. They can just hold this unit at bay and they can keep carry on flanking around. Just got to keep on praying that they can break all those pikes. If you can break them, they're in with a chance. In with a chance. Balance power is still in favor of the uh, of the attackers. Got the general of Gesse here trying to sneak up on the Sabi, Sabay and Cav. That's what I was trying to say. I was trying to put Saba and Sabay together and just failed miserably. So he's going to try and I see what he's doing here. He's going to lure them in with the tiny little unit and then charge on both sides. Doesn't look like Gesse is going to fall for that. Not yet, anyway. We're sending a lot of his troops down this alleyway here, I think, to go and. Uh, avenge the Galatian Royal Guard. These units still getting ch attacked in the back. So many bodies. Such reckless pain and death. Now they're sitting in archers. Eastern archers are getting set in. That's not a good sign. Gonna see a good cavalry charge here in a moment, I have a feeling, from these cataphracts. Or possibly. We'll see. Slow mo in a moment. In they go. Knocking down as many Gesse troops as possible. That's a really nice charge, actually. Look at that. Knocked down so many. And then they're probably going to just pull through, or I don't know. I mean, it's okay for Carrie to try and pull through in Rome 2. They knocked down a substantial amount of a unit. I think they have the right to. But I mean, this. Actually, I think this Cafrak unit might be finished. It looks like it might be finished. Could be wrong. Still trying to lure in this uh, Gete general. Not really the main primary target. I'd, say. I'd be trying to take out this uh, general here of uh, Egypt. If you had artillery ammo right now on this uh, artillery piece, this would be such a good target to go for. All of this down here. You get so many kills. Breaks so many of them probably just from uh, like missile fire. A lot of Illyrians killing themselves on these pikes here. This can't be. This can't be healthy. They're hemorrhaging an army right now. Our area die. It's going to be close. I think the attackers will do it. I think, unless they can kill like this general off quickly. Uh, he's losing. It's just these Carfrags, man. They just cause absolute panic constantly. Look at this. They're breaking all of this infantry here. Absolutely nuts. How many of them are left in the unit? Like 12. It's quite a lot on that one, to be fair. But yeah, they're trying to do it. They're doing a lot of damage. You can see here Royal Camilla, uh, Cavalry doing their bit. Royal, uh, Royal Camel Arches is what I was trying to say. Not Royal Camel. I don't know. Just Royal Camels. But there might be such things as a Royal Camel. And now counter flanking the flank. Our Egypt. They've got some Thoros Spears behind. Dealing with these uh, Illyrian Hoplites. And that might be the end of the flank. It might be the end of the defenders. Who knows? I don't think they're going to need this Illyrian Noble Hoplite here. They might need to send that to the front. More Marines here that might be sending. 54 men. Every man available. If they fall back to like here. Uh, like here and here. Or even like this choke point and this choke point. Then the pikes have an issue because they can either... They have to face like two sides. I mean they have enough pikes that they could go in two different directions. But... They could split them, make it a bit easier. Noble Spears here, really struggling. Really are struggling to deal with those, uh, those cataracts. Definitely now, look at this. General coming up for Egypt. Definitely is now the time to take him out. 75 men, it's doable. 
Sending in archers now, Egypt, so that's a good sign again. They can break all these Nubians, and they can then flank, counterflank the, the counterflank. So many flanks being formed. There we go, no lag really for now. I don't know what was the real issue with that. This is a weird one. But we can watch the pikes just try and kill each other now. Anyone that comes in any, like, even close, Thorax swords, you can see slave things here. It's like anyone that tries to go into, like, no man's land just gets killed instantly. Very nice, very nice. Looks like Gede's general is still alive, but he's looking very banged up. Here we go. Egypt's general is now about to get charged on both sides. He's going to get charged by archers, and then he's going to get hit in the flank by the Calfrax. Oh, that was a good charge. Caught quite a lot of them as well. The unit surely will stop. 65 men, he's trying to pull back. Oh, it's risky. It is risky. That was, that was very risky from Egypt. Lost a lot of men there. He's down to 58 men. They're trying to go for that easy, well, not easy kill, but that, that chain route through a, through a general snipe. Pike's looking very banged up now. 32, 24, 94, 83. I mean, they're also getting chipped away by these arch towers, I do forget. So uh, these pikes, they might be able to do it. That is the uh, bronze shield one, sorry. Bronze shield ones might be able to do this. I'm back. Who knows? Egyptians breaking. Throw our spears going now. Ptolemaic cavalry. Pretty much safe now. We've got some Glacian Royal Guard. Closing them off. I don't dare. If he dares send that cavalry forward again, that's a big risk he doesn't need to take. Saba's cavalry could just come all the way around here. Could come down here. Does obviously risk Gete catching it. But uh, they could just go around the back and just charge this Ptolemaic cavalry. It's worth the risk again. Possibly. Might not even need to do it. They may just be able to take out all of this uh, this infantry here. Because they are getting attacked in the rear. Losing decisively at the moment. There you go. I mean, they're now on to uh, just another unit of Nubian Bowmen. And then it's just rear charging, uh, uh, rear charging pikes. There you go, they've broken them. Now they can rear charge all of these. They've still got heavy uh, Daishi, uh, Daishi, heavy bowmen here. They might want to send them in. Every man's going to count right now. Van's power is turning around. Aridai might be able to do this. Oh, units breaking. They are all chain around. All the pikes are about to go. Wow. So that shows why you shouldn't bring five units of pikes. Uh, it does not actually do you any good. And you can start to see they are starting to waver over here as well. Our Gete. Maybe just because of army losses. But there's only one full unit left of infantry for Egypt. Some Glacian Royal Guard. Nothing to be messed with. Um, but it should be able to be dealt with with uh, these Illyrian Heavy Hot Pikes. And the Pike, certainly. Now that they have the Pike advantage, the defenders. That is a big win for them. And they have the Cavalry. And the numbers, I think. I think they have everything on their side. Maybe not eliteness. I think Glacian Royal Guard could certainly take a few of those units down with them. As, and these noble swords, I mean, there's still a few of these guys around. They could really do with these Dacian bows having ammo. But I think they're all out. All out of juice. And here we go. Looks like uh, Glacian Royal Guard can be first across this river. going after. Oh, they're trying to go after a general. If they can kill Aridai's general, to be fair, that might cause a chain route. Might end the game. But then at the same time, I think Saba's general's still alive. Maybe not. Maybe not. Saba's general, I thought, might be alive, but I don't think he is. 
nothing for like saying general uh, nearby or something like that. But I mean, this is a big risk because now they're just charging everything down here. They could just get recharged by Saba. And I mean, he, Saba might just charge them anyway because these units are really small, so it doesn't really matter. It can't stop everything, that one Glacian Royal Guard. But they're going to make an assault on the final uh, final objective. Uh, just go for here. I mean, again, going to be met with some Lyrian Noble Hot Plates, some Pikes by the looks of it. Just going to have to stand and just grind through this uh, point here. Warriors, Looks like uh, a the Colonic Cavalry might be going to uh, duel some Sab and Sabian Cavalry. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Warriors, this poor general has been hounded by Sab all day. And again, Sab has hounded everyone all day. There you go. I mean, that general's, yeah, losing. <laughs> Very much losing. General here, wavering. I presume he's dead. I presume this uh, general Gete has died. So Gete, without a general, certainly now he's broken. And they're about to be without a general. And then they can just recharge all of this. And yeah, that is going to be victory for the uh, defenders. They just about did that. How they did that, I have no idea. Um, absolutely annihilating Swaby on the uh, Sally early game. Then just grinding it out. I mean, that's a really, really... I mean, Pontus lost his entire army outside the city. And it was like a 3v2 almost. Uh, maybe more like a 2v1, you could say. I think Sabrod lost a lot of his army at that point. It's a really, really good play by the uh, defenders. So well done to them. They just about pulled that off. The uh, the, the attackers were very upset, I'm sure. They, they probably thought when the pikes came forward, they were going to win it. And I honestly thought they were as well. There you go, chain route going on. And that's going to be the battle. So well done again to the defenders. Did a very good job. And Alexander Eric Chosia is held by them. There's a god lot of bodies to clear up now. Look at all those bodies to clear up. We'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So yeah, this was sent in by Coops, who was playing as Aridai. So uh, well done to him. This was a really good replay. And uh, yeah, thank you for sending us in. As always, appreciate all the uh, replays sent my way. And uh, yeah, this Illyrian Hot Plate General getting 164 kills instead of a lot of fresh numbers could have got a lot more. Uh, Slave Singers was really cheap, getting 116 kills is not bad. 307 kills for this Illyrian Marine Unit, that's insane, well done to them. Uh, Illyrian Noble Hot Plates getting 211 kills, very well done. His uh, Illyrian Raiders that charged out right at the beginning, only getting 17 kills. And his Mercenary Axe Warriors getting 109 kills, so they did quite well. Then we've got uh, Varangian Squirrel who's playing a Sabo with all his cavalry, getting a lot of kills. Here with his cavalry getting like actually the most oh no apart from Gete getting the most kills in uh in this uh, game 253 kills with his Marib uh, camel cataract general uh only beaten by this uh, oh no yeah this one here 376 for this uh, camel cataract wow um his uh, camel cataracts here uh, which is Sabaean ones which are different to the Marib apparently 410 insane wow um. Armored Camel Spears getting 142 kills, did pretty solid. And you've got the uh, Himyar Cavalry here, 34 kills, not that great. These Arabian Cavalry, which is just really quick and annoying, 47 kills. And then his Archers, his Horse Archers, 213 kills, very nice. Well done by him. Then we have Gas Leak. I thought he was going to have a lot less kills, but he actually got a lot of kills, to be fair. Um, nearly 2,000 kills. A lot of them on the Pikes here. The Pikes kind of really saved him. Um, getting like 348 kills with his Pikes, 290 with another... His general getting only 42 kills. His chariots, I think, should have been able to get like 300 odd kills, but they didn't. His archers getting 119 kills, 155 with the slingers. Um, and then his uh, pontic swords getting 163, which is okay. And his naked swords getting 103 kills. So not too bad fit from him either. So well done to the uh, defenders. Then we've got uh, MJXL here who's playing as Egypt. Uh, his uh, Egyptian archers here, 110, 100 kills, sorry. 230 kills as Nubian Bowman. Very good for the amount of money they cost. Look at the amount of his kills his Glacian Royal Guard got. I don't even think that's 100 kills, really. It might just about scrape 100. And they cost so much money, so it's a real waste for them. Um, his Pikes, 227, the best one. 148, another. But, I mean, yeah, some of these not getting any c kills at all. I think only two Pikes should be the most you should really bring. Um, mainly because that's what the usual rules are. Also, I think like he's then just taking a lot away. He could have done with more swords to break through. 
um, or stuff like that, possibly. His swords, if we, could, if we look at them, only getting uh, like 67 kills, like his Sorak swords here, not great. His Thoros Spear is actually doing better, 212 kills. Then we have Gaetan, who is uh, playing as uh, a Swavy. Uh, 130 kills with his uh, general. His uh, cavalry doing okay, getting 95 kills. His archers not doing that great, kind of getting run down. His Simri Bowwoman only getting 57 kills. His berserkers getting like no kills. Look at that, real shame. And they cost a lot of money as well. 201 kills with his Wadden and Spears. So they did really well, actually, to be fair. I mean, they were facing cavalry, so Spears were going to do well. His uh, sword masters, 289 kills. This one did really well. I mean, the others did not do that great, but this one did very well. So well done to him. Um, had a really hard start, but he managed to sort of like make some sort of a result out of it. Then we have Jack Jack, uh, 1,221 here, who was uh, playing as Gete. And uh, yeah, I think I really like Gete. Gete with its Noble Sword is a really solid uh, faction. Getting 219 kills with this uh, Noble Sword. 297 there with the even better. That's really well done there. And then uh, Mercy Axe Warriors not doing great, but they're uh, always got like some good javies and they're good for uh, just taking soaking up missiles. Getting 62 uh, kills. His Dacian Heavy Bow is getting 168, which is okay. And his General getting 75 kills. So uh, again, okay. But anyway, if you enjoyed this one, Legionnaires, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I'll see you in the next one.